Hello again, this is your host Pearls, continuing my let's play of Flashdrod, uh, the first pack. And last time we got almost all the way through the very first level. Um, the packs come in groups of four, so uh, this series won't be too long, but it will be continuing in, in the form of uh, as more packs are released. I haven't talked about Force Arrows much. You can't approach any of them from the... Uh, you can't just walk against them. Monsters have to follow the same rules, but... Um, I can walk against them, obviously. The other. That's not really an, an unobvious thing. Probably the least obvious thing about uh, Force Arrows is that if you come at them from a 90 degree angle, you can walk against them that way, and that is okay. And thus we arrive at the end of the level. Let's, let's see here. These stairs lead to the next level. Beware of what you will meet there. Uh, okay, so we've completed the first level. Um, if you ever want to look at your mini-map... Oh, I guess I can't do it in, in Flash Drive, but that's okay. Um, well, let's just see what we have going down here. King Dugan's Dungeon Light 2nd level. Beethro was a bit rusty, but the next level should get him in good chopping form. Oh, the classic foundation tile set. Uh, Drod has a lot of tile sets that, uh, let's just say, start with the rooms to the north to avoid unnecessary backtracking. Right? Oh, will do. Um, this, this tile set, the uh, the colors, is, it's called foundation. When I first played this game, this was the first thing I actually experienced was the, the foundation tile set. So I thought it was always pretty tacky, and I will waste no time making fun of it. Alright, so now we're getting a little bit more close encountery with some roaches, where we have to consider the fact that an economy of moves is uh, not a bad thing, where whoops, where I have literally one turn in which to occasionally save myself from certain demise because roaches are just positioned just, sh just so. Uh, an action puzzler is what we describe this game, but it's not really action-y, uh, because you really have all the time in the world to think about all of your moves. But it is a lot of killing, but and it takes a little while to get used to like the idea of moving around with the number pad and the sword. But in the end, I think it's ex an extremely rewarding to solve these puzzles. Uh, here we meet a new enemy called a Roach Queen. They have a slightly lighter sheen than uh, roaches and have the distinct property of instead of beelining towards you as much as possible, they will beeline away from you as much as possible. Uh, and here we have a nice little counter. And once that reaches zero, what's this do? Yes, it opens up all the gates, and these will open up. So I have to go through and cycle, but then it will reclose all of these gates. So I have to go through and cycle through this. Well, you'll see how it works. I'll hit this, I get to pick one of these, and it opens this gate up here, but then closes everything else, such that, because of this force arrow, I have to move around again. So it's not the end of the world. Um, what was I saying? Yes, they spawn uh, roach babies, and it takes five turns for them to hatch uh, at every single adjacent square next to the roach queen that they can. So these are the only squares available, so therefore they will lay the eggs uh, on them. There are certain places where uh, roach queens will not spawn babies, but we'll, we'll see about that later, even though it seems like you can walk on it. Okay, and I will open up the second gate, and now I have a nice veritable horde of roaches to take care of, but it's not too bad. When I talked about economy of moves earlier, it's the, it's the topic of efficiency. Where notice that I am taking diagonals to get around corners. Not that I really need to in this instance, but if people care about scores, which a lot of people do in this game, scores being like how few moves it requires you to uh, to uh, complete a room, uh, economy of moves by taking diagonals where you can is extremely important. And Honestly, one of my favorite things to do uh, is watch Let's or sorry, watch them. Um, if you have a Carabell.net membership, you can watch the best players and their replays of certain rooms. You can see how the best players in the world. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I didn't let the roaches fall down. Dang it! Um, not a big deal. Oh, whoops, oops, 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 oops. <laughs> can I just? There we go. Restore button for the win. So yes being efficient with moves. It, it becomes extremely important later on. In these early levels, it's not as big as a deal. The game's designed to like gently uh, introduce you to the, the elements, but later on it becomes quite important. Okay, this is a room of probably just ore puzzles. Not really even ore puzzles. I only have one thing, uh, one option available to me, so as more options increase, I will just continue to... Okay, ooh, no, why? Okay. Alright, there we go. So yes, nothing too impress uh, too amazing at the uh, beginning. This will come later. I, I did do a little bit of testing for this uh, uh, version of Drod, and some of the mastery rooms are kind of ridiculously hard, but it's all in good fun. Um, 
occasionally orb puzzles will become uh, dependent on like the order you do things in. So this one, you can see toggles these doors, so they will switch. I want to fill up this little cavity here, and then you may be asking yourself, what do roaches do when they're on top of doors like that? Well, they simply walk off if they can. This puzzle is always... Oh, wow, they did. Okay, that's interesting. There we go. In the original, this is always just wide enough that I, can, I can't do that in two. That's really frustrating. But in Flashdraw, because it's smaller rooms, I can. Interesting. And I see down beneath me a little bit a secret set of crumbly walls, as I like to call them. I guess they could be called secret walls. Aha! Oh, hello. So this is a Roach Queen maze. We will see that Roach Queens will beeline directly away from you. If I'm stepping here, they will take the initiative to uh, go away. But they'll never like involuntarily go left or right if you're standing directly on their path. So I'm going to move the queen this way. And now I have to wait for it. I don't want it to get stuck. I need it to lead it out of this maze so that I can kill her. And now I'm going to take one step here. And now I'm going to try to race her. Well, it doesn't really matter. She gets stuck in the hole down there. Okay. So now the puzzle becomes, how do I get her out? Now, you'll notice that she's added... Oops, oops, I did not mean to scroll like that. She's added diagonal. Um, I am playing this in a browser. Uh, added diagonal, and thus, like roaches, in the event that she has to choose, because she's moving diagonally away, she will take the vertical, as you will see right now. And I want her to move straight up for a second, because I don't want her getting caught on anything, so I'm going to turn, and then get her stuck up there. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so now we want to make sure that there we go. Uh, if I turn here, now that it, I've made her move into this position, she will take the, the the diagonal again, and now I can sneak back into this position and hopefully have just enough turns to yes turn get south of her and she will then take the diagonal one last time in which she will now leave the maze, hurl her children at me in which I will slaughter mercilessly and consider this secret room a success. Secret rooms are generally much much harder than normal rooms but they are a lot of fun and they will reward me the mastery area at the end of the um, episode or uh, pack I guess this first pack so we haven't even seen where the mastery door is so and I kinda don't know if scales change it around since I last uh, played around with this so I got a lot of things in store there have been a lot of changes since then okay so this is just more killing of some roaches nothing too hard I, I'm kind of an old vet at this uh, roach killing thing so I am not sweating yet actually I am it's really hot in my room but I don't want to talk about that Finally, the uh, heat wave that was hitting the Midwest uh, broke, and boy, that was a glorious, glorious day. It was hot as hell for a little while. Okay. Another room done. Once again, not a tricky puzzle. It's just trying to get me used to the idea of moving around and getting comfortable with how roaches behave around me, how they move, how I can manipulate them. Ooh, a new enemy. Hey, a rake wing, all by himself, too. That means I could be chasing him all over the room. Yes, yeah, I might. See, I don't know if you saw what I did there. I can step, and I, I, even, even in weird positions like this, I'm not in danger if I'm just smart with my moves. So kind of like chess. Now, now Wraith Wings, their, uh, their movement is difficult for me to explain. It's got a pretty complicated algorithm, unless they're alone. If they're alone, they will not get any more than... They act like a roach queen if I'm within, like, five uh, direct squares of them. Uh, otherwise, they act like a roach, where they'll fly after me if I'm further away than five. And see, now he's kind of trapped on his own roaches there, so he can't run away. So you have to pin them against walls and things like that. And they also enjoy the unique property of being able to fly over things like pits. Uh, what makes them complicated is when they're in groups, they become more brave. Where uh, they'll, If they're able to flank you, they will take advantage of that and try to kill you. Um, queen will make tons of new roaches by the time I get to the orb and back. Uh, she will. Let's see if I can't do another room. We'll just do this one. I've kind of run out of time, so I'm going to take care of this one while I have a chance. Uh, oftentimes, you use the timer that you get to position yourself strategically such that the roaches do not pin you, because the introduction of new roaches is always dangerous. Uh, so if you have your back turned in a very bad position, it's not going to work out for you. Anyway, I have pretty much run out of time on this episode, so I am going to stop here on my next video. I will continue on this second floor. This has been your host, Pearls, doing King Dugan's Dungeons Light, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.